The best way I've found to actually add a, a sort of a general shape to everything is to add a null object. Alright, so let's go up to Layer, New, Null Object. Now, if you've never used a null object before, basically it's sort of like a dumb object that you can use to control other objects, like their positions and things like that. Alright, so with the null selected, let's um, then go down and select all these other elements and then move across and go Parent. Now, basically what parenting does, um, apart from raising children and things like that, what it allows us to do is control where the positions of these things are with one object. So as you can see that's all moving around there and everybody's happy. Alright, so basically what we can do is we can then use this to give it a sort of a general shake. So with the null layer selected, go up to Effect, down to Expression Controls and then go Slider Control. Now a slider control is basically just an empty effect at the moment which you can then link to any other effect. Alright, so what we're going to do is leave that one as it is and then down here, I'm going to twirl this one down under Transform Alt click on position. We're going to be doing another expression now. Type wiggle. So W I W G L E. Open brackets. 25, comma, and then now we can um, grab the pick whip, which is that little spiral worm-looking thing, then drag up to the slider here. Right, and then one more thing is just to close brackets. Okay, so at the moment this isn't going to do anything at all. But basically what we've done is we've created a wiggle effect. Now a wiggle effect, if you hasn't, haven't used one, basically randomizes values for a particular parameter. In this case it's the position. Okay, so basically what the code means is 25 frames per second, or 25 times every second it's going to change the position by as much as whatever we have it here. So I can increase this value, and as you can see, this is 35, so every Basically every frame is going to move by up to 35 pixels, so the whole thing is shaking around like crazy. Alright, but basically um, that's the basis of how you'd actually use a null object to create a shake. But all, all what we do want to do actually is animate this so it's a bit more controlled than just this general mayhem. Because as you can tell this is probably going to be the most productive way of showing something if nobody can actually read it at all. Alright, so let's um let's have a look at actually animating this alright so let's just t change this one back to zero so we're not shaking around and while we're here how about we uh, give everything motion blur like that as well alright so twirling this one back down we've got that controls now what we want to actually do is animate this we don't want to animate the position anymore so twirl down effects and go to slider control so this slider is the same value as this one up here, as you can tell, it's changing. So what we need to do is find the point in which it makes impact and add a keyframe. And then hit page down to move one frame ahead, and then change that one to something like 20. So that's going to ch shake it fairly violently. We might even change that to something a bit higher, so maybe 40. Alright, so basically it's ever so quiet and then all of a sudden the whole thing shakes around. Now we don't want it to be shaking around forever because forever is a long time in this case. So uh, once we get to a couple of seconds go back here and change it to something like 3. Now I didn't change it to 0 because um, a little bit of motion does give it a bit more realism anyway. So if we uh, go back to our first one we might as well add a bit of motion there as well. Alright, and then that's basically all there is to it. So the whole thing is shaking around a little bit. And then we've got that one that slams in. The whole thing shakes quite violently. And then it sort of regains control. And then you can do whatever you like with it. Alright, so that's basically all there is to it. So I hope you've uh, found this tutorial useful. And if you do have any questions at all, please um, leave a comment and ask. I'm sure other people would have similar questions. And I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But until the meantime, um, yeah, I guess I better go start working on that next episode, eh? Alright, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>